Today we are diving into a topic that's been generating a lot of buzz in the gaming community. Are we currently experiencing the golden age of gaming? With the rapid advancements in technology and the sheer diversity of gaming experiences available today, it's a question worth exploring, so let's jump into it. To understand if we truly are in the golden age of gaming, we need to take a closer look at the factors that define such an era. First and foremost, let's talk about the incredible diversity of gaming experience that are available to players today. From sprawling open world adventures to heart pounding competitive multiplayer games and thought provoking indie titles, there's something for everyone regardless of their tastes and preferences. The sheer variety of genres and the depth of storytelling and gameplay mechanics have reached unprecedented levels, offering players an unparalleled level of choice and immersion. Another key aspect to consider is the technology advancements that have propelled gaming to new heights. The evolution of graphics, sound design, and virtual reality has allowed developers to create breathtakingly realistic worlds and compelling narratives that were once unimaginable. With the advent of the powerful hardware and innovative software, gaming has become a truly immersive and visually stunning medium pushing the boundaries of what's possible in interactive entertainment. The gaming community itself has flourished with the rise of esports, live streaming, and content creation. The ability for gamers to connect, compete, and share their experiences with others has fostered a sense of camaraderie and inclusivity that is unique to this era. The rise of esports has turned gaming into a global phenomenon with professional leagues, massive tournaments, and dedicated fan bases that rival traditional sports in many ways. However, it's important to acknowledge that the term golden age is subjective and can be interpreted in different ways. While many would argue that we are indeed in the golden age of gaming, others may point to specific eras in gaming history such as the arcade boom of the 1980s, or the emergence of 3D gaming in the 1990s as the golden age. I know for me growing up, gaming was something that I did in my free time after school, but as I got older the game started changing and I was able to really immerse myself in these worlds. And that's not something that I was really able to do as a kid when it came to video games. And that's why I believe that we are in the golden age of gaming right now. The immersion that we have is nothing that we've ever seen in all of the history of gaming. Has there been great amazing games in the past? There absolutely has. There's been countless games that have been amazing that I've spent lots and lots of time playing. But compared to what we have today, the different styles and different gameplays and all the different things that you can do, nothing rivals what we have. And now who's to say that it's not going to come later on and it might be a completely different story by then. But as of right now, in my opinion, I feel we are absolutely in the golden age of gaming. I don't see a way for anything to really change that at this point. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think that we are in the golden age of gaming or if it's past or if you think that it is still yet to come. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you have enjoyed this video, consider hitting that like button. And if you're new to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button as well. It's two simple clicks for you, but it means a lot to me. Gaming in the 80s and 90s had such a different feel than it has now. Me being a 90s kid, growing up playing Super Mario and things like that, it was a totally different world to me that, yes, I had fun playing Super Mario and Duck Hunt and all these games, but I didn't feel like I was in the game. And with gaming now, that's how you can feel, as if you're right there living every single moment with the character in the game. 
depending on how a lot of games are and almost any game that we have now you can have that realism of feeling like yes I'm right here this is me in this game and that's so amazing especially with games to where they have role play servers now which are a huge thing and you get to live the life of a west in a western or in a zombie apocalypse there's so many different ways to role play that they didn't have back then there were some ways to do it but not at the level that we have now and i think that's another huge thing that has come to gaming in the last few years how many times have you started up a game and felt lost like you didn't know what to do or had to start from the very beginning of a game with no idea what was happening that's how games are nowadays and I think it's an amazing way to start things and I guess it's kind of always been like that and but for a while there was a lot of tutorial based stuff but now there's some games that they just throw you right in and you have to just figure it out and I love that they're bringing that back into games I think it's absolutely an amazing way to get it back and it's another reason that we're in the golden age of gaming here in you know this era of gaming and I don't think that it'll be surpassed anytime soon. But I think that is just about going to do it for this video, you guys. Again, if you did enjoy, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. But other than that, I will catch you guys in the next video.